Hi guys, how are we doing? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy day before Thanksgiving to those of you who are here in the States. How is everybody's week going so far? I'm having a pretty good week, I gotta tell ya. Running a little bit behind today. I was behind about three minutes, <laughs> which is a lot for me. Um, but just had to get everything ready for today's project. You guys, I'm excited about this one. I can't wait to show it to you. I hope you guys love this one. It's easy and it's fun and I think you'll enjoy it. So it's definitely festive. Hi, Julie. Hey, Joan. Hey, Barbara. Hi, guys. So how are we feeling? Are we ready for the good afternoon wiggle wiggle? You got it. How are we doing now? Is the wiggle better? <laughs> so who's ready to wear their stretch pants tomorrow and um, eat an excessive amount of food and watch football? <laughs> I am. I am. That's me. That's me. Wiggle, wiggle needed for sound. I wiggled it. How's it doing now? Is it any better? Wiggle, wiggle. Kathy says, yep, yep. Yup sound or yup you're going to eat lots of food and watch football and <laughs> Oh, blow drying your hair, Nicole. Hey, go right ahead. <laughs> Don't let us stop you. I'm glad you're having us join you for that. That's fun. Maggie says she's ready. I'm ready too. I'm ready too. So a lot of people, I feel like Thanksgiving is so underrated, right? But I mean, it kind of mixes all of the things that I love, which, well, except for jewelry. But I mean, I'm sure I'll find a way to work that in. But um, yeah, it's mixing together all the things I love. Food, eating, right? <laughs> Stretch pants, yes, please. A football, it doesn't get any better than that. Come on. <laughs> Thanksgiving needs tons of love, tons of love. I mean, that's, that's just a recipe for a wonderful day, if you ask me. <laughs> Particularly if you start your morning with a mimosa and um, read the Black Friday newspaper, see what kind of deals are out there. And yeah, I always read the newspaper, but I never actually do that whole Black Friday shopping early kind of thing. In fact, I almost always shop online. Um, you can hear me loud and clear. Yay! Yay, yay. I'm glad. Awesome. So speaking of shopping online, like that little segue there? <laughs> oh gosh. Speaking of shopping online, lots of new things. Okay. First of all, it's what's new Wednesday. It is also like Black Friday into Cyber Monday, like that whole thing. This is when things really start to ramp up as far as sales and goodies. And it's not just Jesse James Beads is everywhere, but in particular, Jesse James Beads has some tricks up their sleeve and I'm excited to get to share these things with you guys. So let's talk weekly deals first and foremost, okay? So the weekly deals for this week, those change every Monday. So you've got until Monday. Marianne says Bloody Mary's for me. For breakfast? That's a good one for breakfast. <laughs> it's like V8 with a kick. <laughs> Get your vegetables for your breakfast. I like it. Okay, so, all right, let's talk weekly deals. 30% off of Crystal, and the code for that is Crystal Snow, right? And then there's also 30% 30, 30 off Red and Green, and the code for that is Holly Jolly. And then last but not least is 30% off Silver and Gold, and the um, code for that is Silver and Gold. And guys, those are all wonderful Christmas colors, which is why those were picked for the weekly deals this week. However, those colors can be used all year. Gold and Silver kind of gets... Um, Ooh, with a kick of jalapeno juice. I like it. I like it. <laughs> that is a great way to start your day. So all of these colors can be used for the rest of the year. So this is a great time to stock up. Yes, they are holiday colors, but think about how many times you use red and green and silver and the crystal colors in your designs all year long, right? So that being said, you're going to have to check out separately if you want to use that coupon code like for the red and the green and then for the crystal and then for the silver and gold. So don't load your cart up with all of those things you're going to have to make individual um uh sales or transactions is what i mean you're going to have to make individual transactions for those so that you can get the 30 percent off on each one of those okay also know that if you are concerned or 
worried that maybe what you're you're buying doesn't necessarily fit into the category one way to surefire or find out is to go over to the Jesse James Speeds website and click on weekly deals and then click on the shop this special button that's underneath each weekly deal that's going to take you directly to the items that qualify for that coupon code okay so all right that's good yay good on that i'm doing the wiggle wiggle because that's not the only thing that's going on like i said it is what's new wednesday and i don't know if you guys noticed but yesterday three boho bead bundles dropped on the website okay there's christmas in tibet which is gorgeous there is tibet boho bead bundle and then there is a big 40 per a 40 piece boho bead bundle that is on the website right now okay right now but that's not what's new Wednesday what's new today right that was yesterday today is something brand new so there's gonna be new stuff popping up all week long and the best way to find out what those things are is to sign up for the email newsletter so that you will be the first to know but since you are here with me I will let you know I don't know what this is <laughs> talking with my hands again and wiggling I don't know um <laughs> there are brand new mini mixes you guys they haven't hit the shop yet they are going to be uploaded like as we speak as we are doing this live the mini mixes are hitting the shop and i've got one i actually have all of them but i have one for our project today and it is called naughty or nice and we're going to use this we're going to use the beads that are in it to create a little christmas tree pendant today um in the spirit of the holidays, right? But it doesn't have to be a Christmas tree pendant. You can just make this a really gorgeous pendant. And you could do this without um, <laughs> without Christmas colors if you wanted to just make a tree, like a winter tree. So let me just show you, I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek. I'm gonna actually open this one up and we are going to look at it thoroughly. But the others, I'm just gonna sneak peek, flash them up here. You're gonna have to investigate these um, on, the, on the website. So I've got Country Christmas, which is like your deep evergreens and your maroons. There is um, antique copper all through here. Some pops of the browned. Browned? Is that a thing? Brown? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a really really beautiful there are some little he's upside down but I don't know if you can see or not there are some um, <laughs> little reindeer charms in there super super cute okay so that's one another one is peace on earth this one is really really beautiful it has the creams and greens and kind of that um, moonstone shimmery that thing that we were calling skim milk the other day <laughs> It has that beautiful color in it. There are gorgeous tassels in here and pops of green. Just really, really beautiful. Guys, there's one of these mixes for everybody. Um, or collect them all, because that's kind of how, you know how we do. Uh, Sugar Rush, this one is gorgeous as well. This one has your traditional red and green in it, but there is also the champagne colors and creams in here as well. So, so pretty. And then we have Let It Snow. Look at the snowman. There are snowflakes, blue, crystal colors in here, whites, there are glass pearls, rhinestone, spacers. Uh, this one's gorgeous. They're all really, really beautiful. Um, I'm always drawn to blue though for Christmas for some reason. I don't know why. Um, now they're all on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to pick all those up. All right, I'll be home for Christmas is last, but certainly not least. This one is beautiful shades of red. I mean, this is just chocked full of red. You know this one is a personal favorite of mine because I love, love um, the reds. Loving the earring you have on now, like the length. Thank you. So these earrings are uh, courtesy and my necklaces as well, you guys. Speaking of, check out my necklaces too. So these were the Swarovski Tiara Cast mixes. If you guys remember, we did kind of fast and furious designs with these. I did two necklaces and I did several pairs of earrings. These are the ones with the, um, the Christmas wreaths and that beautiful green Swarovski bead. So those are also on the site. Okay, don't forget, those are still there. Like there is so much Christmas and holiday goodness on the website right now, it's it's like mind blowing. There is so much good stuff going on. So, thank you. Thank you, Donna says the necklaces are so pretty. 
Um, all right, last but not least, before we get to our project, let me lift you back up here and try to move the beads out from underneath my feet so that I don't crush the little containers. Last but not least is, you guys know that we've been having some problems with our Monday Night Lives. Um, <laughs> it's Monday Night Live, like Saturday Night Live. Okay, anyway, that's just went through, that went through my head when I said that and I needed to say it out loud to you guys, just so you know the crazy that happens in my brain. Anyway, <laughs> um, our Monday Lives at 7 p.m., we've been having some connectivity issues with Facebook. I feel like it's just a really busy, busy time on Facebook. So we're actually gonna be moving the time for that. We're gonna move back to 4 p.m. Eastern time on Monday afternoons. Um, let me know if, um, not let me know if, be there. <laughs> Don't let me know if you're gonna be there. Just be there, it's still fun. It's still our regular Monday night or our Monday project for our Facebook Lives. It's just a couple hours earlier um, and hopefully that's going to, that's gonna make things a little bit better, you guys. I hope, fingers crossed. I don't know, I feel like Mondays, it, it couldn't possibly be that way all day on Monday with Facebook, but let's just see what happens, all right? And of course, if we have to move that again, we'll let you guys know. We're never gonna just like change things and not let you know ahead of time because we want you to be there to hang out and have fun and ooh and ah over. Oh, no RSVP then. <laughs> Donnie, yes, RSVP, would you? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, you know, my mouth and my brain are just not quite connected and one of them takes over. <laughs> you just never know what's going to come out. Um, loving that candle. What candle? Do you see a candle? I do have a candle burning. I'm so confused. Can you actually see that? <laughs> it's, it's out of the shot for me. That's a weird thing to say. Wanda, I love you. That was weird. <laughs> All right, guys, I've got lots of energy. I hope you guys do too. I've had plenty of time for my coffee to kick in today and a Diet Coke. So you guys know I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's put together, oh my gosh, that's right. I almost forgot. You guys, Destination North Pole starts next week. Next week, can you believe it? Like, I can't believe it's already here. That's amazing. So Sarah just mentioned that. You know what starts next week? Destination North Pole. Totally slipped my mind. I don't know how. I keep thinking we have like one extra week in there. I guess I need to get my ducks in a row. <laughs> it's go time. All right, so let's get to this project, shall we? So much good information going on. All right, you can see the candle too. That's weird. Okay, well now I know for sure that you guys can see more than what I can see in the viewfinder and I need to be like mindful of my messes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna, oops. So let me know if everything's good to go. Yes, get your Ugg boots ready. We're headed north. Heck yeah, and your, and your Christmas sweaters, your holiday sweaters. Okay, I'm gonna unplug us. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna unplug us because I'm afraid, I'm afraid we don't have a lot of battery life. Okay, so like I said, I've got the Naughty and Nice. This is just one of the amazing mixes that is coming to the shop right now, you guys. And I just refreshed the website. They are dropping right now. Oh, and the strands are dropping as well. You guys, you're gonna have so much to look at when we get done here, but don't go yet, don't go yet. Sounds good? Okay, cool. <laughs> Station says we can play I Spy. <laughs> we should do that one day, that's funny. Cause I really have no idea like what exactly you guys can see. <laughs> and now I'm all self-conscious about it. <laughs> smell a vision to go with a candle. Well, if you're curious, the candle smells like um, evergreen. It smells like Christmas tree, which is one of my favorite smells in the whole world. Okay, so, all right, check it out. Okay, I love almost, well, I do love everything about this mix. Not almost everything, I love everything about this. So first of all, can we look at these little custom Santas? Look at that little round face. 
he's just as cutie patootie as he can be and they are double sided these are mother of pearl these are custom jesse james beads so you're not going to be able to find those anywhere else there are green tassels there are the green red and white tassels which are so stinking pretty look at these drops so you know i have to include a drop in today's project just because i can and it's gorgeous and why not and then we've got large hole things in here which i i really wanted to use and i may still find a way to incorporate this into our project today but look at these okay so you've got these rhinestone spacers they have a large hole on them so these are going to be great for your thicker cord i think we're going to use one kind of like a bale today which is an interesting use of them but just wanted to show you there are those and then these pave ones there's more green the pave ones oh gosh they're so pretty they're just gorgeous just gorgeous and let me just 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 as a quick little idea because originally i wasn't sure what i was going to make with this but <laughs> pajama pants hey i have on real pants today wanda <laughs> I'll have you know, they are stretchy, but they are real pants. <laughs> At least I have on pants, okay? <laughs> so I've got one of these little spacers and then just to drop one of those little red, not little, that's a big old, but gosh, that to me is like the beginnings of the most beautiful earring ever, right? And I really wanted to mix this up and make this part of the design because this was the first thing I did when I opened this little mix of beads, but it didn't actually work into the design today, but I still wanted to just show you how beautiful that green rhinestone spacer is with that red bead sitting in it, like just to inspire you because it's pretty. <laughs> There are cubes in this mix as well, which you guys know I'm head over heels. <laughs> so yes, this is wait, pajama pants aren't real pants? I guess they are real pants. <laughs> I guess it kind of just depends on what your definition of real is. Like is in real that they exist? Totally. <laughs> There's some gorgeous enamel charms in here as well. There's a beautiful Christmas tree and a bell with the little holly leaves just so pretty guys this is such a beautiful very traditional red white and green mix that i mean you just can't go wrong really really beautiful and i gotta tell you i've opened and looked at every single one of the new little mixes and every single one of them is just as beautiful so you're not going to be disappointed no matter which one you pick out if you pick out all of them and have to have all of them even even better <laughs> even better Thank you, Jenny. I appreciate that. All right, so what are we gonna do today? Well, I was feeling Christmas tree-ish today. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna create a Christmas tree. So we're gonna use the um, triangle mandrel attachment to our artistic wire mandrel tool, okay? We're gonna use some 18 gauge wire. We're gonna use the bottom, the largest triangle here to create our, um, our tree shape. And then we're just gonna wire wrap some beads through it. Easy peasy. This is not a super hard project, but I feel like the results are really, really beautiful. And it can be changed up. Like you don't have to just do the standard red, green, and white for this tree. You could make this Christmas tree in blue. You could make it in silver and gold. You could use any of the little mini mixes for it. So um, I just happened to fall in love with this one. I'm feeling classic Christmas right now. Okay, so I'm gonna use some 18 gauge wire. And guys, I don't really know for sure what the measurement is on this. I didn't, um, <laughs> I didn't take actual measurements. So I'm gonna start out with a little more than 12 inches, which is an excessive amount. You're probably only gonna need about 10 inches to make your Christmas tree. Okay, I'm gonna lift you up just a little bit. So many people here today. Guys, I'm so happy to see everybody. Get to spend a little time together before we all go off for the holidays for a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to place my wire on the artistic wire mandrel tool I'm using that triangle. And guys, this one can be a little tricky to use. And I, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that, okay? I mean, that's really the truth. It's a little tricky to use the triangle. Out of all of them, this one is the one that I struggle with the most, okay? But you just wanna do it the same way you would with the round ones. Put your finger up against it, hold that wire up against the um <laughs> kathleen <laughs> hold the wire up against the side of the mandrel and then you just want to 
gently guide your wire along okay and it helps to really really push the wire up against the surface of the mandrel okay <clears throat> all right now I'm actually going to do my wire wrap before I take this off of the tool and I've got two really long wires here again like I said it's, it's an excessive amount I do want to keep a little length here but you definitely don't need nearly as much so the part that I have bent so that it is sticking straight up and down you really only need about three extra inches of this because you want to well probably two inches would be enough okay um, and then we're going to take hold on we take the long end and just wire wrap here and again I'm doing this before I even take it off of the tool okay so there I've wire wrapped about three times and I'm going to slide this off of the mandrel tool okay and we've got ourselves a little triangle now I don't need all of this excess wire but I do want to keep this wire on the top here because I'm going to thread a bead on here um, but I'm going to leave it for now we're not going to do anything with it just yet just leave yourself a nice tail here okay and now if you want to kind of clean up the sides you can use your chain nose pliers and kind of bite down along the length of the wire this just really kind of helps to sharpen up your corners a little bit and to straighten out each one of your sides if they're a little um, kind of bowed out okay all right, now, because this is 18 gauge wire, I do want to put this on the block. So I'm gonna bring in the steel block and my nylon hammer, and I'm going to work harden this before we do anything else to this, okay? So I'm gonna hold it so that the wire wraps are off of the block so that the triangle will lay nice and flat on the block. Okay, I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. All right, so now we have our little triangle and it's ready to go. So that's our little, our little Christmas tree shape. I really need to clean this table off. I hope you guys don't mind all of the scuffs and stains here. <laughs> um <laughs> only beads are good for for the health not so much for the bank account oh i know about that you hear the 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 silent cries of desperation from your credit card every time you check out the draining of your paypal account i can't help it i have to have to shop <laughs> all right now we're going to take some 24 gauge wire to wire wrap some beads back and forth, just like if we had strung, you know, beaded garland around our tree. We're gonna use 24 gauge wire for that, and I'm gonna give myself a generous amount of this. Um, you can do this in small sections if you want to. I'm gonna give myself about 24 inches of the 24 gauge wire, just so that I have plenty, and hopefully I won't need to add any more. In fact, I'm hoping that I'll have some left over. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to take the tail end of my 24 gauge wire, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm going to wire wrap around the wire wraps that are already there. This is really just going to kind of help me um, anchor my 24 gauge wire to our triangle component here. Okay, so let's wire wrap around that a little bit. Okay. All right, now, you can go ahead and trim that off if you want to. I'm just gonna leave the tail behind, okay? What, what are we talking about? Jane says she has to meet me, meet, meet her. I don't know if she's talking about me, because we do meet in the Ingalls parking lot. <laughs> what are we talking about? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna move on. Sorry, I get a little sidetracked. <coughs> that's, our, that's our hangout spot. It's the Ingalls parking lot. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. When I was a teenager, all of the um, all of the teenagers would hang out in the Walmart parking lot. So now that we're all older, we hang out in the Ingalls parking lot. <laughs> anyway, all right, I've got my 24 gauge wire coming across. I'm gonna go ahead and add a bead. And guys, I'm just gonna kind of mix and match my beads here. There's no real rhyme or reason. I just wanna use some of the beautiful beads from the mix to fill in the open space of my Christmas tree. Colleen, come hang out with us in the Ingalls parking lot. <laughs> we hang out to the police run us off. I'm totally kidding. Um, I wouldn't put it past us though. <laughs> We're such hooligans. All right, I'm going to take my wire. So it's coming over this way. I'm gonna, I'm, it's exiting my bead. I'm gonna wire wrap it onto the outside of my component. I'm going to go across the back. Okay, and guys, you can do this however you want to. This is a very much freestyle, which makes it fun, particularly for those of you who are not super confident in your wire wraps. This is a great one to just kind of play around, okay? The 24 gauge wire is not super hard to work with. It's nice and soft, and it doesn't, um... <laughs> Oh gosh, you guys are cracking me up. Um, it, it doesn't take away from the design too much. However, I do want to mention that if you do want this back and forth without beads to be part of the design, you can use a larger wire and it just looks like more kind of tinsel and garland around your tree. Okay, just, just play with it and add whatever makes you happy, right? There's no right or wrong to this. So I added one bead. Now I'm going to add two beads. Underneath that one, I'm going to add a white rondelle and one of the green rondelles and I'm just going to drop those down okay coming across that space so the wire was over here we're going across I'm going to wire wrap twice okay now my wire is coming to the back I'm going to go again on the back just across and wire wrap twice now this is going to make it so that the pendant you can wear either direction okay you can wear it with the silver going across it or you can wear it without the silver going across it however i am going to kind of play a little bit and do some silver on the front too some of the silver wire just because it's pretty right now i'm going to go add beads again so let's see this time i'm going to add a red and a white and one of the larger green these kind of crackly green beads really really pretty let's see so the thread on a red white <laughs> and the green okay like that right across wrap around twice which is it is twice it's one to kind of anchor it and then one is another kind of across okay I'm gonna do another one across without any beads really just kind of freestyle it okay you can do this however you want to if you don't like the way that mine looks you can change yours up just kind of alternating beads and wire Okay, and now I'm gonna do white and red and another one of the greens. Okay, bring that across. And you can see this is kind of giving it a little dimension. By adding the beads to the, when the wire is coming across the front, brings those beads forward adding the beads when it, the wire goes across the back takes those beads back a little bit that's adding some dimension to the pendant so that it's more than just flat you're actually getting some of that kind of 3d to this which again makes it so that you can wear it either direction or if it flips around on you while you're wearing it either side is going to be really pretty okay you can see how some of those beads are behind some of the other ones oh Karen you're too kind I don't know about that you guys only see the good stuff like I've made some pretty ugly things <laughs> trust me <laughs> 
all of the prepping for Facebook Lives, like I have to make two or three ugly designs before I settle on something that I feel like, okay, I can actually show this to everybody and not be, you know, not feel like it's the most horrible thing I've ever made. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I've made some pretty, some pretty ugly things in my day. All right, so the wire is coming across the back. So this is another opportunity to have like a layer of beads behind. And so let's see. I do have more, more space here. So let's get two reds. So a red, a white a red and a green rondelle drop all of that down and we're getting we're getting kind of kind of tight in here i can see there's going to be like room for maybe one more little bead in the corner okay come across i want a bead right there and what shall it be? What shall we use? Let's see. I'll add another green. So if you don't like the um, having some of the beads like forward and back like that, you can do them all on the front or all on the back, okay? And of course you can kind of squish them around and you know you can really make it look the way you want it to that's particularly with this 24 gauge wire because it's so forgiving you can really manipulate it to whatever whatever you want it to be okay all right now i'm going to trim off the tail and i actually need the i need the rest of this okay all right, so I've filled up my tree and I've got beads and wire on the front. I also have beads and wire on the back. Either direction is gonna be really, really pretty, right? It has that 3D kind of feel to it. And I'm going to trim off, just kind of winding my tail around here a little bit. I'm gonna trim that off, okay? So you can be done at this point if you want to just, you know, do a wrapped loop or whatever, but I'm always extra. You guys know, have to be, have to be extra. So before we finish off this, I want to add one of these drops down here to the bottom just because it's so beautiful. I can't not use it, right? Okay, so I'm going to use this leftover piece of the 24 gauge wire that I have and <laughs> because we're working in such a cramped little space here, you're going to have to be really, really patient with yourself. Okay, give yourself lots of grace if you want to add this down here to the bottom because it's going to be a little tricky to get the wire wrap in there between these beads. So I'm going to, I'm going to anchor my 24 gauge wire to this and it's going to slide back and forth, okay, until we get everything ready i don't have a star bead but we are going to put something on the top don't you worry i do have a plan okay so i want to wire wrap and you can tell it's a little it's a little tricky it's going to slide back and forth on you that's okay use your tools that's what your tools are for use your pliers to come in here and kind of squeeze your wire wraps together to tidy them up okay whoops try not to accidentally scratch your beads while you're doing that okay so there's three good wraps i am going to wrap some more with this tail but for the most part or at least for now rather i'm going to leave it just like it is okay and I'm actually working right to left, which is kind of weird, but I'm gonna drop down this beautiful drop bead, okay? And I wanna position it so that the top of the drop bead is going to kind of sit right up against the bottom of our tree. So you can see how I've had to bend the wire, right? And I didn't do any major bending, I just, I just kind of 
twisted the bead into the position that I wanted it. That 24 gauge wire really just kind of does whatever you want it to do, okay? But now I need to wrap this other side. And again, it's still gonna kind of slip and slide on you, that's okay. We'll squeeze it all down when we get our bead attached, okay? So just, now honestly, you probably could have, um, you probably could have done this part first and made it, you know, it wouldn't, it, you wouldn't have to fight against that bottom row of beads. Um, so if you feel like doing the drop first, just so that you've got plenty of room, I did it again, you guys. I keep taking that wire over <laughs> this little piece of wire here. You absolutely can do that, and that might that might make it a little bit easier on you doing it before you you do fill the the tree part up with the beads. Okay, and again, just doing the wire wraps and. Now I've got three on either side. I just wanna take the tail and just kind of fill in the space a little bit more, okay? Um, it doesn't, at this point, my bead is nice and secure. All I'm doing now is just kind of using up some of the excess wire. So I'm just gonna wire wrap on both sides a little bit more and then we'll trim the tails off. And then we're actually gonna squeeze this with our pliers to kind of help keep it from slip sliding around back and forth because I really do want that drop to stay in the middle if possible and um, of course one way to ensure that is to fill up the entire the entire bottom with wire wraps that definitely will keep your drop bead in place I don't know that I have enough wire on this side to do that though so I'm just going to kind of pinch those guys together Okay, and then trim the tail. Okay, you can see I had about a fourth of an inch of wire wraps on one side. Okay, let me trim off some of this. And we're just going to mirror that on the other side. Ooh, yeah, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? I know what mine is. What is it for you guys? My favorite Thanksgiving food is, my mom makes this noodle casserole, which when she made it when I was a kid, I hated it. Um, but it's like the ultimate comfort food, but it's so bad for you, I only eat it once a year. She's actually dropping it off for me here in a little while. You know, it's like really rich. It's like macaroni, but not macaroni. It's it's cheesy, it's spaghetti noodles, onions, and bell peppers, and mayonnaise, and cream, and lots of things that are bad for you. But gosh, it's so good, and I look forward to it every year. I could eat just that. And maybe a piece of pumpkin pie. Or pecan pie. I like to just eat the top off of the pecan pie. <laughs> All right trimming that off so now we have this beautiful drop my drop is not really going to go anywhere okay and he's not really going to slide back and forth much because my wraps are nice and tight however if your wraps are not super super tight and it's still kind of slip sliding around you can take your chain nose pliers and remember how we were biting down on the on the sides of our triangle you can do the same thing over your wire wraps kind of bite down on those with your pliers and that's really going to kind of snug that wire up to the component and it will it will kind of lock those wraps in place so that they're not going to wiggle back and forth on you and your drop will stay nice and centered okay so now i want to do a little something up here at the top okay so originally let's see originally i had taken just a green rondelle and dropped that down okay and then I had for the picture for the Facebook event I had just done a simple loop but I'm thinking like I said I really love these 
rondelles and I'm thinking maybe I'll use it like a bale. So I'm gonna take the wire that is exiting here and I had left myself enough because I was thinking I was gonna add extra beads and then do like a wire wrapped loop. I don't need all of that, but I do need enough to make a nice large loop here. So just bending my wire one direction and let's see. I think I'm gonna need my bail making pliers for this. Let me let me grab them. Okay. So what I want is I want to make a loop that's gonna clear this guy. So it doesn't have to be a huge, huge loop, but I do think I'm gonna use the small bell making pliers. I'm gonna use the largest mandrel on those. I'm gonna trim my wire. I'm gonna give myself quite a bit. That might be too much, but this is just kind of trial and error here. Okay, let me use that. Roll a loop here at the top. Oh no, I have a feeling that that's still not gonna be big enough. Oh, I may have cut it too short. Let's see what happens. So, oh no, it's gonna work, yay! Oh, that's exciting. So I just made a simple loop at the top here and I used my bell making pliers so I could get a nice large loop, okay? And then I just attached that rhinestone spacer going up and down, right? And so now that's gonna be the bail. I just like that extra sparkle and bling to that. So I'm gonna use some of the Beadalon diamond cut ball chain that is available on the website. And I'm just gonna use this to string this onto, just something super simple. Um, the the diamond ball or the diamond cut ball chain has its own little shimmer and shine to it right um but you don't have to use that you can use any chain that you want you could use um let's see you could use fairy silk if you wanted to you could use any kind of ribbon that you wanted for this like you literally can hang this pendant from anything that you want you can also make it smaller and make earrings out of it you just want to be sure that when you do and you make it smaller you want to use a smaller triangle part of your your tool here and you also want to use smaller beads and you're probably going to use less beads for that as well all right i'm going to attach my hardware to the ends of my chain and then I'll put this on the bus so that you guys can see it and then I'll let you guys go so that you can enjoy and get some of the last minute things done. I know we are kind of rushing around here trying to get some last minute things from the store and put some finishing touches on some treats that we are making for tomorrow. So I have a feeling that you guys are probably in the same boat. All right. So there are my jump rings and my clasp. And that is it, you guys, that is it. I'm gonna put this on a bus so that you can see what it looks like hanging. And of course you guys can adjust this and change this up however you want to. Let's see here. Uh oh. All right, I'm going to turn you around to give you a little wiggle wiggle. So let me adjust here. Well, how's the sound? All right. <laughs> Did I do it again? Did I do it again? All right. Look how pretty, so, so pretty. Uh, you guys, you don't have to do the whole little rhinestone spacer at the top for the extra bling. Um, if, you, if you wanted to, you could do it with the red too. Like actually you could even do like a really big loop and do a red, a green and a red, or you know, you can make it wider if you wanted to. Um, that would be really pretty. Oh, I just had a thought actually. Let me undo this. Let's just see what happens if I thread on some more of those how they would hang next to that. Oh, I might have to take the jump rings off. Sorry, you were just starting to look at the necklace and I'm like, oh, but wait, <laughs> one more 
other thing, one more thing. I'm going to take my jump rings off here. Fortunately, that doesn't, doesn't take a whole lot of effort. Let's just see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you this. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. So since there were some more of those rhinestone spacers, just add some to it. Oh, yeah. You can never have too much bling, <laughs> at least in my opinion. <laughs> Uh-oh. But now I have to hold on very carefully here. Okay, look. Yes, 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 yes. How pretty is that? So before we just had the one, you know, and that's the one that actually has our Christmas tree attached to it. But then I just flanked it with some more of them just because... Yeah, but wait, there's more <laughs> for the low price of $99,999.99. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so if you want to dress it up a little bit more, you absolutely can use those large hole beads to go on either side because it, it, they're just so pretty. They're just so pretty. The Christmas tree is easy to do, you guys. It doesn't take a whole lot. You can really freestyle it and make it your own. You don't have to put the drop on it. You can leave the drop off. I'm just partial to the big red drop on it because I love all of the sparkle and movement. You guys know how I feel about all that. So there you go. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's project. I think it was a fun one, a really pretty one. Excellent flanking. Why, thank you, Wanda. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. That's it. I'm done for the week, you guys. There's not going to be a Facebook Live tomorrow because tomorrow is Thanksgiving and then I'm taking Friday off to spend some time kind of recharging my battery and getting my creative juices back in order so that I can be back with you guys on Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern time for another fun design. Guys, do not forget to check out the website. All of the mixes have dropped. There are new strands. There is gorgeous stuff all over the website so go check it out right don't miss out <laughs> you don't want to miss out on it have a wonderful wonderful thanksgiving to all of you who are celebrating thanksgiving for the rest of you have an amazing rest of the week and a wonderful weekend and i will see you guys again soon bye guys <laughs>